Hi everyone. So here I am recording another chair yoga class for you. Um, I hope you enjoy this one. It won't be an hour, it'll be just shy of an hour, but it'll give you a good class that you can do on your own, uh, at your convenience, uh, and uh, when you need it. So here we go. I'd like you to sit at the very back of your chair with your feet flat on the floor and your legs parallel, your feet hip width apart, so comfortably. Lower your arms down beside you and begin to shake out your arms. Just move your arms like they're long rubber bands. Shake out your uh, shoulders, drop your elbows and fingers, and just give them a little shake out. Get the blood moving as you start to move the arms, and from the shoulders we'll start to swing the arms. So from the shoulders now, so let this movement be comfortable for you. Breathing through the nose, sitting tall. Good. Now on your next breath, swing your arms up, lift your arms over your head, wiggle out your fingers, and then slowly bend your elbows to lower about as high as your shoulders. Good. Open up the chest, so draw the shoulder blades together. Good. Exhale to bring your hands and elbows out in front. Inhale, open. Separate the arms. Close in the shoulder blades. Feel the chest and front body open and gently stretched. And then again, as you exhale, bring them together. Let's repeat that a few times. Inhale to open. Exhale to close. Broaden the upper back. Slowly. So this might feel like a little bit of a workout for your shoulders and if um, it starts to feel at all annoying or intense, you just gently release your arms or you can bend your elbows a little bit more and lower your elbows down like this, if that feels better. Bringing your elbows closer to your body instead of bringing them together. So whichever feels good. I'll show you as I speak through the movements. Okay, once you draw your elbows in, lower your arms and swing your arms back and forth once again. But this time I want you to lean forward a little bit. So you're leaning over your legs or your lap as you swing your arms back and forth. Look down to the floor, but keep your neck long. Don't bow your head down to the ground towards your legs. Keep your neck long, swing at the arms, shoulders. Feel that movement in the upper back. When you swing your arms up over your head, now lift and then lower your right arm down. Hold on to the side of your chair, the seat or the leg and gently get a nice stretch as you tip your body to broaden out that left side. Inhale, come back to center and lower the arm. Sweep up your right arm, hold on to the chair with your left hand or the leg of the chair and slowly tip your body over. Create a nice, long, comfortable stretch that your side body and arm uh, and lower back are looking for. Good, inhale, lift back up and exhale the arm down. Again, swing your arms. Now we're gonna ask you to be mindful of how you're moving your legs and your arms in a moment. So be aware that we're gonna to start to move our legs and our arms at the same time. When you lift up your arms, lift them up high, and you're gonna lower your right arm, but lift your right knee. And then lower the foot, lift up the arm, lower your left arm, and lift your left knee. And switch. And switch. So each arm that is up, the opposite knee follows. I'm lifting my right arm and my left knee. Lifting my left arm and my right knee. So just find this alternating movement. If this movement is too dynamic or perhaps too much of a reach for you, you can bring your hands to your heart and just lift your legs. Just a few more. I'm sure you've done this before with me, so you've uh, had some experience in these larger movements. Just bringing a nice stretch into the big joints and those longer muscles and getting the heart rate up and increasing circulation. 
Breathe through your nose. You've often asked me about breath. Breathe comfortably. Try your best to breathe through your nose and keep that breath even and smooth. Just a couple more seconds here. Good. And then you lower your arms, hang on to the front edge of your seat, lean forward, exhale, inhale, lift, nice and tall. You're placing your hands on the front corners of your seat as you bend forward. Inhale, lift, exhale, forward. Press into the chair with your hands to help lift your body upright. Just a couple more movements, a flexion at the hips, lengthening the back, understanding how strong you are in your arms and how your hands hold the chair. Good, one more. Good. Now, lean forward and scoot your butt forward. Sit forward on your chair. So now there's no, uh, there's no um, uh, uh, back to your chair. Imagine there's no back to your chair. So you're like sitting on a stool. <clears throat> Take your left hand around the back of your leg, hold your right hand down on your right thigh as you circle your leg around. Now I know your leg probably feels kind of heavy, so let this be a little bit of a workout for your shoulder and your bicep. If I've asked you to do too many rotations or too many um, sets or reps of this movement or any movement, just slow down, pause, stop and wait and catch up. Good. Lower your foot, take your hand to your thigh, take your right hand behind your right leg and circle the knee. Find a nice strong movement at your shoulder, your bicep. It's really about your arm becoming strong and relaxing the hip relaxing the muscles around the buttock and the back of the pelvis, the inner leg and the hip section. My left hand sinks into the thigh, so there's a sense of stability into that one side. Good, lower your foot. Good, and again, hang on to the back of your left leg. We'll do this again, but I'll do it a little bit differently. You're gonna make a circle, one, two, Three, come back to center, hold your leg up, push your foot out. And lower your foot, circle one, two, three, push your foot out. And in, one more, two, and three, push your foot out. Now hold on to the back of that left leg with both hands and take your nose to your knee. Exhale. Inhale, sit tall. Exhale. Inhale, sit tall. And last one, squeeze. Good. Lower your foot, shake out your arms, look over your left shoulder, look over your right shoulder, look over your left shoulder, shake out your arms. Good, look over your other. Good, and back to center. Place your left hand on your thigh and hold on to the back of your right leg with your hand. Remember what we're doing, three circles and then the foot goes forward. So we start one, two, three, push your foot out, bend and circle. One, two, three, push your foot out. One, two, and three, push your foot out. Take both hands around the back of the leg, hold your thigh close towards you. Exhale, bring your nose to your knee. Inhale tall, exhale. Inhale tall, and squeeze. Perfect, lower your foot, shake out your hands, now bring your arms out and up 
and we're going to make sure that we're not leaning against the back of the chair so it feels like you're sitting on a stool maybe the front half or the front third section of your chair comfortable with your feet planted okay so we're going to turn to our left so turn your torso keep your arms straight out to your side inhale to center turn to your right Again, center. Inhale, center. Exhale to the side. And one more to each. One more to each side. And finish off on the right side. Good. Once you come here, back to center, turn your palms up. Take your fingers to your shoulders and circle your elbows in, down, out, up, in, down, out, up. So a nice big circular movement in your shoulders. Breathe in, breathe out through your nose. Large movement here in the shoulders. Feel this across the upper back between the shoulder blades as you broaden those muscles at the center of the spine out towards uh, the shoulder blades and under the shoulder blades. Perfect. Now, once you bring your elbows out, interlace your hands behind your head, press your palms towards the ceiling, lift up. Now we're going to lean to the right and you're going to lift your right, uh, you're going to lean to the right and lift your left foot off the floor. So just get a little extra pull. Come back to center, lower the foot, lean to the left and lift your right foot. Good, and down. Separate your feet, bring your arms down out in front of you, either reach for the floor or rest your elbows on your knees like this. If you, this is as far as you're going, make sure your feet are comfortably placed. But if you can go down a little bit deeper, bring your body through your legs and place your hands flat on the floor. If you have blocks, you can put blocks under your hands to keep you slightly lifted and less of a stretch and less of a strain to come down into this pose. You can always return your elbows onto your knees or thighs to lift up a little bit and not go so far. Breathe through your nose, keep your head low, looking down through your legs. Good. If your hands are on the floor or blocks, take one more breath before we change this pose. Good. Take your right hand or right elbow on your knee and roll yourself up. Keep this arm, left arm up, and then rest over onto your right leg with your elbow or your forearm. And then make a nice big circle with your arm. Sweep your arm past your left knee, up and over your ear and nose, down past the right toes, left knee, big circle. Have your legs comfortably apart. Try to get as much space in the movement through your shoulder and your back. Breathe. Breathe. Breathe through your nose. Perfect. Come back to center. Rest over onto your left leg with your uh, elbow or arm. And take your right arm and sweep it up. Uh, pardon me, sweep it down rather. <laughs> and over to the right, up and over. So it's a nice huge circle through your arm towards your shoulder and then from your shoulder through your torso. Feel this nice fluid movement. Moving carefully. Good, one more. Good, and then roll yourself up. 
Good. Place your hands on your knees, walk your feet together. Take your left foot out in front of you, sit up nice and tall. And then bend the knee, hang on to the knee and pull the knee up towards your chest. Pull the leg towards you, relax your left shoulder. Good, and lower your foot. Hands on knees, right leg goes out in front. Engage the quadricep. Don't over lift your leg. Let the back of your leg rest on your chair. You're just extending the leg and working from the quad to the knee. Take your hand underneath that thigh and bring the knee up to your chest. Sit up nice and tall. Don't look down, don't bow, don't roll your shoulders. Sit tall. Nice stretch for the back of the right leg and buttock. Good, lower your foot. Shake out your arms. Separate your feet as wide as your chair. Wiggle your hips a little closer to the front edge like you're ready to stand up. Now I know some of you can easily do this and some of you find it a little bit awkward. So here's what we'll do. Put your hands on your knees. If you can stand up with your hands together at your heart like that, then I want you to. But for some of you, I think this is probably where you wanna begin. Rest your hands over your legs, lean into your toes, lean off of your seat, and then exhale to lift your butt and then very slowly just roll. Once you stand up nice and tall, part of that I'm slightly cut off, you're gonna move your hips into a circle. Other direction, just a few circles one way and then the other, just to work out any kinks that sit in the hips right here from sitting too long. Good, and then you're standing tall, good. Bring your arms, give them another little shake. Always shaking out the fingers, loosening out any tension in the forearms and the elbows. Good. Keep your feet as wide as your chair. So a wider stance so you have better balance. And you're just gonna move your hips from one side to the other. Just sway your hips. Now, don't lock your knees. Bend your knees a little bit if it feels good too. So I'll show you what that looks like. If I'm gonna bend this knee, the left leg, I'm just gonna lean into it gently from one side to the other. Now, if this is too dynamic or too big of a movement, you can just slow it down and just feel this happen, a little bit of a tip of the pelvis without anything else happening uh, through the knees or the feet. Just a little uh, floatingness of the pelvis. Good. Now, since we're standing and I have you standing, step yourself over to your right side. Know that your chair is right there beside you, so bring your left hand back so you know where to find your chair. You can look down if you need to. And I'm just going to shove my chair forward a little bit so you have a better idea and you can see what I'm doing. Hold on to the chair with your left hand. Stand nice and tall beside it, not way up in front, not way back behind, directly beside it. And you're going to point your right toes to the floor and pull your toe back. That's all you'll do is point your toe forward, push it forward, and then push it back, forward and back. Find this large movement uh, from your toe. You're stretching your toe, stretching the back of the foot, stretching your toe, top of the foot. Good, that's it. You'll come back to center, walk around your chair to the other side, Hang on to it so you've got some stability. Remember you're in line with your chair, you're not sitting or standing forward or back. And now it's your other leg. So now we're working the left, back and forward. So starting with these littler movements, and this is pretty basic of a movement just to give some attention to the hip, attention to the stretch of your toes and the bottom of your foot. I'm pointing when the foot comes forward and I'm stretching and curling the toes under just a little as I take it back. Let's do that one more. There you go, and back to center. Walk around the back of your chair, standing behind it, holding onto it, taking a deep breath in and exhale. Good, separate your feet wide, a little wider than your chair, point your toes out, and you'll gently drop down and stand up. So it's just a very slight, so drop down about six inches, just a little bend of your knees outward, and stand tall. So let there be a intentional engagement of muscles that stand you up. This is a drop, 
This is a stretch. This is strength. Dropping, stretching. Standing, strengthening. Good. And one more. Step your feet in a little closer, about hip width apart, or maybe as wide as your chair. Put your hands on the back of your chair and walk your feet back so that your hips move away from the chair and your head comes down into a right angle or a fold of the hips. So it just looks like I'm in an L shape with my arms, body, to the hips and down to the heels and feet. Good. Bend your knees a little bit like you're about to sit down into another chair behind you and then extend the legs and lift your chest and stand up tall. We'll do that a couple more times. Walk your feet back. Bow your head between your arms and push your hips back so you're in what looks like a supported downward dog stretch for your back, your outer shoulders. And then you add a little bend in the knees like you're sitting down into another chair. And then as you exhale, you straighten up your legs and you lean forward, lift your head and walk up to the back of the chair. Okay, we'll do this again. Walk back, fold in half, stretch out the outer arms, feel the stretch in the back of the legs, bend your knees, sink into your hips and heels, and then straighten up with the legs and lean forward, walk forward. We'll do it all over again, one more time. Stretch out first, lengthen out the legs and the arms and the spine and the back. Bend your knees like you're sitting into a chair. Exhale, straighten up your legs and lean forward, lift your head. Perfect. Walk yourself to the back of your chair. I'm gonna move my chair just out of the way a little bit. Stay there. Now here I am on the right side, left hand on the chair. Circle your right knee up and around from your hip. Good, extend the leg out, bring the foot in. So get a little bit of a pop, lift, drop, lift, in, up, out, up, in. Stand up nice and tall and use your left hand on the chair like you see me here, using this hand on the chair to give you some balance and some stability so you don't collapse your torso. It's like you're taking your foot up and over a giant ball. Once your foot comes in, walk around the back of the chair. Before we do the other side, and while you're standing here, just sort of give yourself a little shake. Holding onto the chair with your left hand, just bounce on your heels. Shake out your shoulders and your hips. Loosen the body. Okay, legs together. Here's your left leg up. Imagine there's a giant uh, ball or a step stool or an ottoman right here, and you're taking your foot up and over comfortably and to a movement that feels good up and in now i'm going to go at a speed that feels good for my hip brings the heart rate up a little bit so let this be whatever it is imagine an object here that you're stepping over big movement small movement slow movement or quick movement whatever you're ready for. It's a large movement, so the heart rate goes up for sure. Okay, back to center. Walk around the back of your chair to the other side and give yourself a little shake. Now you're bouncing on your heels, so you find a really smooth kind of release across the shoulders and hips. Good. Now walk to the back of your chair like you did a moment ago. Keep moving my chair so I can give you the best example. And your feet are again wide. Now it might not look like my feet are too wide, but they're a little wider than the legs of my chair. You're going to point your toes out and you're going to lift your heels, point your toes out on an angle, hold on to the chair, lift your heels up and down, up and down. 
you're just rolling off of your heels onto your toes. So find both a stretch in the bottoms of your toes, a strengthening in your quads, hamstrings, those are your upper legs, and your calves, strengthening your calves. Perfect. Once you lower down, walk your heels in, toes in, feet come into parallel, and then you're gonna just sit down into a little chair like there's one behind you, and then stand up tall. <sighs> sit down, look to the floor. Now hold the pose, and with bent knees, like you're sitting down, don't let go of the chair, just tuck your chin in and your tail under, so you stretch out your back body, so it looks like you're in a cat pose. So I'm pulling my tail under through my legs, like a cat. Pulling my chin towards my chest to broaden the upper back. And then rolling up to standing. Good. Walk yourself around your chair. Don't let go of it so you know exactly where it is. And then get yourself in front of it and sit back down. Sit at the very front edge of your seat. Turn to your left and put your right hand on the outside of your left knee like this. Now don't push the knee in like I'm showing you now. Push the knee out into the hand and resist that by pushing your hand in. So there's some tension developed between your hand pushing in and your knee pushing out. Okay. As you turn to this left side, take your left hand down to the side of the chair, the seat or the leg and rotate your back body just a little bit and take three deeper breaths. Don't over force your torso into the twist. Stay nice and tall and massage the body body, the body organs, uh, the inside body with each breath. Good. You'll release. Come back to center. Swing your arms back and forth. Good. Hands on knees. Roll your left shoulder up and back. Just your left shoulder. And then your right. Lift it up and back. And continue the movement of shoulder. Lift. One at a time. Good. A nice big circle of the shoulders. So every time you lift a shoulder, like I'm showing you here with the left, there's a little bit of a stretch down through the rib side and into the waistline. And you're just going back and forth. And then the center line of your body, as you do that, you're getting this little back and forth shift of your spine. So you're massaging the line of your spine. Okay, we'll do the other side. So take your left hand outside your right knee and you're pushing your knee into your hand, but you're resisting that with your hand. So you're developing a little bit of tension and a little bit of strength in your posture. Your right hand sits down at the back of the chair, the leg of the chair, the seat of the chair, wherever your hand can find, and you gently rotate. Once you find this position, don't force any further. Breathe. Breathing will do all the work for you once you find your position. So sit tall, find the tension between your hand and your outer knee. As you exhale, your next breath will return to center. Good. Give your hands a little shake. Roll your shoulders up and back. Now I've taken my hands off my legs and I'm rolling my shoulders up and back with a bit more movement in the elbows. You can wiggle out your fingers. Rolling, rolling, rolling. So we did some initial sitting exercises and stretches. We stood up for some balance and some movement and some back stretches to wake up the hips. We're sitting back in our chair and we're going to quiet it down with hands on the knees. So uh, always a quiet position would be a forward fold. So walk your feet forward 
and just begin to lean forward. Be very mindful that you're sitting comfortably on your chair and you're gonna to start to lean forward and you can either rest like this with your hands together, elbows on the knees and your head down. If you feel you have a little bit more space to lean forward, release your arms, reach for the floor. You can run your hands down to your toes and look through your legs. Place your hands on your legs, on your thighs, to help lift your body up. Exhale and push. Once you sit up tall, bring your feet back in a little bit, below your knees, and bring your hands down to the sides of your chair or the back sides of your seat. Okay, and my hands are just above the seat at the back of the chair. That's where it feels most comfortable. So don't struggle with this, wherever your hands can gravitate to. And you're going to kind of hang on to the back of the chair and open your chest. As you lean forward just a little bit, it's a very, very slight angled of your body, angled position of your body. And you're looking down and then you're going to look up. Giving the back of the neck a stretch. Giving the front of the neck and chest a little stretch. Inhale to look up, exhale to look down. Inhale to look up, exhale to look down. Good. When you exhale and you're looking down, pull on the back of the chair or where your hands are to lean back a little bit. Put your hands on the corners of the chair, the seat, move your feet back, and this will just help you lift your hips and bring yourself into the back of the chair. So up and back, just scooch back. Bring your feet out in front, rest your hands on your thighs and circle your head. So keep your whole body steady and still and just move your head over your neck. Let this circle of this movement be comfortable. Comfortable and smooth. And then gently change direction, go the other way with your head. Keep your feet flat to the floor. Keep your hands resting on your legs. Keep the circle and stretch of your neck and head comfortable. Perfect. And one more, turn direction, go the other way. to center. Good. Take a deep breath. Roll your shoulders up and back. Good. Take your arms back behind you. So drop your arms, pull your arms back behind your chair or your body as you lean forward ever so slightly. Keep your feet flat to the floor. Bring your arms out to your sides and bring the back of your hands together. Look down. Now pull your hands into your sides like this. I'll do this slowly again. When you go from here to here, you've turned your palms in and you're pulling on two big cables and bending your elbows into your sides. And then you extend your arms, look down, sweep your arms 
forward in line with your ears, back of the hands are together, and then you pull your palms in and your elbows to your sides and you look forward. Sit nice and tall, okay? Drop your arms, sweep them forward, lean forward. Good, turn your hands, elbows in, sit tall. Sweep. And squeeze. Sit tall, sweep. Back of the hands together, head down, and pull it up nice and tall. Pull those elbows in. Sweep, back of the hands. In, sit tall. Firm up your arms and sweep again. One more. There you go. Sitting tall. Good. Hands on your legs, pull your feet in just a little bit. And we're gonna sit for just a moment with eyes closed. So I want you just to sit right back into your chair. So take all the space in the, the back of your chair, the seat of your chair where your feet are, make sure your knees feel comfortable and you're not overworking. And your hands rest either in your lap or rest your hands in your inner legs like this. Close your eyes and take a deep breath. Relax your hands in your lap. Soften your elbows when you recognize your fingers and hands. Soften your upper arms to your shoulders as you sit back into your chair. Relax your face, your mouth and your tongue, your lips and your jaw. Relax. Let that help your whole body to relax. To be relaxed, to be present, to be mindful of your breath and quiet. Take a deeper breath in. Hear the sound of the inhale. Recognize and relax the exhale through the body, through the nose, through the muscles. As you exhale your next breath, bring your hands to your heart and pull your feet in just a little bit so you feel more stable from your knees to your feet, hands of the heart. May we be filled with loving kindness and may we be well. May we be peaceful and at ease. May we all be happy and truly healthy. Namaste.